I wake up in the morning and I want to reach for my phone. But I know that even if I were to crank up the brightness on that phone screen, it's not bright enough to trigger that cortisol spike and for me to be at my most alert and focused throughout the day and to optimize my sleep at night. Are you looking to boost your attractiveness and improve your health? According to neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, there are a few simple things you can do to achieve these goals. The first thing Huberman recommends is getting enough sleep. Here's what he said about the benefits of a proper sleep cycle. So what I do is I get out of bed and I go outside. And if it's a bright, clear day and the sun is low in the sky or the sun is you know, starting to get overhead, what we call low solar angle, then I know I'm getting outside at the right time. If there's cloud cover and I can't see the sun, I also know I'm doing a good thing because it turns out, especially on cloudy days, you want to get outside and get as much light energy or photons in your eyes. But let's say it's a very clear day and I can see where the sun is. In addition to sleep and exercise, Hoberman suggests taking care of your eyes. According to him, our eyes are a window to the brain and keeping them healthy can have a positive impact on our overall well-being. To do this, here's what he recommends. I do not need to stare directly into the sun. If it's very low in the sky, I might do that because it's not going to be very painful to my eyes. However, if the sun is a little bit brighter and a little bit higher in the sky, sometimes it can be painful to look at. So the way to get this sunlight viewing early in the day is to look toward the sun. If it's too bright to look at directly, well then don't do that. You just look toward it, but not directly at it. It's absolutely fine to blink. In fact, I encourage you to blink whenever you feel the impulse to blink. Never look at any light, sunlight or otherwise, that's so bright that it's painful to look at because you can damage your eyes. But for this morning sunlight viewing, it's best to not wear sunglasses. That's right, to not wear sunglasses, at least for this morning sunlight viewing. It is absolutely fine to wear eyeglasses or contact lenses, so-called corrective lenses. In fact, those will serve you well in this practice or this tool because they will focus the light onto your neural retina and onto those melanopsin intrinsically photosensitive ganglion cells. If your eyeglasses or contact lenses have UV protection, that's okay. There's so many different wavelengths of light coming from the sun and they are bright enough that they will trigger the mechanisms that you want triggered at this early time of day. A lot of people who are really overweight or even mildly overweight uh, who have sleep apnea have more anxiety mm -hmm. because they're not getting rid of CO2. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they're literally suffocating in sleep and they're, you'll see these people, they're mouth breathers. <sighs> Finally, Huberman recommends taking care of your mind. According to him, mindfulness practices like meditation and deep breathing can have a positive impact on mental health and help reduce stress and anxiety. Here's what he had to say about the benefits. Not even necessarily just people who are overweight. So it's not good to be a mouth breather. Mm -hmm. um, you don't blow off enough CO2, anxiety yeah, I've goes heard up. You should sleep with like athletic tape on your mouth so you train yourself to breathe through your nose because apparently it's way better for you. Yeah, I'll do cardio. I do a long run once a week or some long cardio. I do it. Um, I try not uh, mouth breathe the whole time. Can it also change face shape? Yeah, so this is a wild book called Jaws, A Hidden Epidemic by colleagues of mine at Stanford. And they show they have these twin studies. One kid grows up in a culture where they eat a lot of soft food, drinking Capri Sun, eating applesauce, baby food. The other one is, you know, got stuck in the jungle or wherever it is, and they're chewing on bones and chewing their food. And one kid, these are identical twins, has beautiful jaw structure and high cheekbones, and the eyes look nice and clear. The other kid is like droopy, the teeth are there, and their mouth breathing. They show this, there's one case of this young girl who just, she got a pet, or a pet hamster, I think it was, got a a uh, allergy to the hamster and literally took this beautiful young girl and she just, her face just starts aging at a rapid rate. They get rid of the hamster. She goes back to nasal breathing. They do a little of encouragement of nasal breathing using the mouth closure thing at night, do a little bit of medical tape. And like her, these beautiful, almost like model-esque features come back in this girl. Hmm. Jaw shape and the clear to the nasal passages. You know, really there's no reason why any of us should ever had had, I had braces, but all your teeth should fit in your mouth, mm -hmm. right? And you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed. I can't quite do it. Your, your palate should be somewhat wide, you know? And so when we see, now there's the jawser sizer is really big in Hollywood. That and peptides are like taking over. Wait, jawser sizer? Yeah, they these like things where like. Bouncy mouthpiece. Yeah. 
It looks, it, the only problem is it makes people drool. It's pretty gross, but you know, you, it's Those work. exercise. They definitely work. They change your facial structure. Uh, the nasal passages, you look at somebody who keeps their facial muscles strong. There's, and this is for women and men, their jaw muscles strong. We're not talking about the like, you know, like, I mean, there's certain people who are like genetic freaks, like my friend, Laird Hamilton, he's got, you know, it's like big old neck and like yeah. huge jaw. Like he looks like a, you know, an actor from the seventies or something. He's just yeah. naturally that way. Um, but people who, care about their facial structure, especially who don't want, a lot of people are concerned like, what's going on with my skin? A lot of um, women and men are like putting all the stuff on and figure out how to get rid of the droopy eyes. It's actually a facial muscle issue. And had, were they just to do some jaw exercises and focus on not mouth breathing, it completely changes the structure of the face in just two, three months. I wanna share with you three critical things about this tool of morning sunlight viewing. First of all, this is not some woo biology thing. This is grounded in the core of our physiology. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands of quality peer reviewed papers showing that light viewing early in the day is the most powerful stimulus for wakefulness throughout the day. And it has a powerful positive impact on your ability to fall and stay asleep at night. Second of all, if you wake up before the sun is out, you can and probably should flip on artificial lights in your internal home environment or apartment or wherever you happen to live if your goal is to be awake. Right? If you wake up at four in the morning and you need to be awake, well then turn on artificial lights. Once the sun is out, however, once the sun has risen, then you still want to get outside and view sunlight. Some of you will wake up before the sun comes out and if you're asking whether or not turning on artificial lights can replace sunlight at those hours, unfortunately, the answer is no. There's a, you know, also for avoiding orthodontia, you know, like uh, kids who chew hard food, who have to chew their food, eating real food and yeah. chewing their food, not just peanut butter, you know, slurping down food all the time. They, using their jaw and their teeth, they have really nice teeth. In fact, the argument was made, and there's a, you know, animals in the animal kingdom have beautiful teeth structure. You don't see the, huh. the, the messed up teeth. They have beautiful teeth structure and they don't wear braces, yeah. but they're tearing flesh and they're doing their mm. thing. We brought this up before. If you look at like mummified people from yeah. like way back in the day, their oh, teeth are always yeah. like pretty good. Yeah. And like, they're not, they don't have all crazy, they're not eating sugar at the same rate, stuff like that. But those are the elites, bro. <laughs> you look at the plastic surgery thing now and it's kind of crazy. I mean, maybe this just reflects my age and my generation, but I see some people with wearing so much dark eye makeup, plus they're getting the cheekbone inserts. They look like skeletons. Mm -hmm. Now that's not, yeah, every, listen, everyone's got their taste, especially if they're really lean, you know, and then, but facial structure is something that can be modified. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, having a, chewing your food, chewing hard foods is something we used to do a lot more. All this slurping down of food and calories we know isn't good from the obesity side, but it's also not good from the jaw structure, teeth structure, face structure, and it's all related, you know? So that book Jaws is amazing. No matter how attractive two people are to one another, like at some point it becomes familiar, mm -hmm. but there are certain people like I would put, I'll just disclosure. I'm actually become in a re relationship, monogamous relationship, I actually become more attracted to the person I'm with. And I think it's something through the nose. It's like a pheromone thing. Yeah, I become very conditioned to them, right? It's not that no one else becomes attracted to me, but I become very conditioned to them. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know that everyone's like that. I've only been me, but I know that there are some people that get really restless after they've been with the same person for a little mm. while. And sometimes that's psychological, like they never got it out of their system. They married the first person they were with. And other times it could be physiological. By following these tips, you can improve your overall health and well-being, which can also have a positive impact on your attractiveness.